Good morning. Hello, morning again, everybody. So we are now just awaiting the arrival of Sam for our morning PE session. So, Nisha, I've been dipping in and out of the PE sessions, and it takes me back to when I did my GCSE PE. And it's, it's funny, isn't it? So for you essentially taking part in every single session, you know, grade nine, A star, you know, whatever phrase you want to use for this. <laughs> did you, so did you do PE GCSE? Um, not a GCSE. I did. I actually used to love PE. Like I, um, I used, used to be, is the key term here, um, really fit. And um, cause I used to swim a lot. And then I remember like, I did um, the bleep test. He was talking, Sam was talking about the bleep test. So I was like, oh my gosh, I used to love it for some reason. I used to, um, so kind of my, kind of my sporting heroes. Um, so there's two I had, well, one really, a guy called Richie McCaw, who was the New Zealand rugby captain. Okay. And the, the myth, I'm going to say myth, I've never seen it, was that he could complete a match and then complete a bleep test straight after. Oh my gosh. That, that's the myth. And apparently David Beckham used to be able to complete the bleep test as well. That, really? Yeah, yeah, apparently so. Mm. Apparently so. Mm. So we, uh, I mean, yeah, I remember doing that. I remember doing that. And being, I was one of those really competitive, but the more competitive I got, the more red faced I became. <laughs> So just obviously forgetting to breathe and all that, all that sort of thing. So, uh, you know. Well, I guess just... Sam can probably help us with that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, what exactly. a day to make a mistake. Uh, all right. Mr. Michael, all right. we are uh, we're just uh, letting letting the audience know that uh, it's about our bleep test experiences, Sam. Oh yes, yes. Well, um, it, it's. It's all right. I'll take the 100% blame, but we are, we're ready to go and we've got, um, we're working on muscles today, so there's lots of exercises to do to go with it as well. So to be fair, maybe it's best for the viewers that I didn't come on straight away because uh, I'm going to give them loads of uh, exercises to have a go at home. So yeah, yeah no, okay. it. no stress, it gave, it gave me time to uh, just remind Niche that I, I used to do things other than wear a bow tie and sit on a chair. <laughs> <type in. laughs> Oh, wow. Looks very smart, very smart, uh, and uh, I'm sure you know that um, today is dressed down because it's PE. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's yeah, track yeah. day, Rob. I was going to say, with the, yeah. tap, with the camera angle that you have on your hands, do you do a pedicure? Is that how it works to make sure that your hands are in? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, Absolutely not right. Oh, sorry, I'm just. This is are, we, be... are we live now? Yeah, we this is unfortunately going to be a really short yeah. session. Fantastic. It's going to be a really short session, so you might have to um, come back to okay. this one a little bit, but because um, we only have until ten forty-five. But um, as you said, there's lots of exercises; so people can get on with those as well. Okay, yeah, I, I'll start. Should I crack on? Yeah, 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 yeah ten forty-five. Okay, perfect. I'll uh, just um, Nish, you can share my screen. Yeah, and um, we'll just first. Uh, there we go. We share that. Okay, so um, I tell you what we're going to do for the for the five or six minutes that we're we're, we're live. Uh, I'm going to just recap uh, a little bit what we did last week, and then just look at the muscles that you need to be aware of for your GCC and Excel uh, exam. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So first of all, if we can just uh, look back at the recap of what we did last week. So we were talking about the um, principles of training. Uh, and the anagram on the left hand side, sporty, so we've got specific, progressive, overload, reversibility, tedium, and individual needs. So, again, if, if, if you look at the words, make sure that when you plan the training session, it is specific to yourself as an athlete. Um, the example we used that for someone like Mo Farah, he, he might have a variation in his training, he might do a little bit of swimming. He, he, he might do a little bit of uh, cycling. However, it's all specific to him because it's long distance and it's endurance based uh, training. Um, there's no no uh, point in Mo Farah doing short, sharp tempo stuff uh, because it's not relevant again to, to, to his his uh, his, uh, his, his, his his apparatus and apparatus what he does. Uh, progressive in terms of making sure that as it gradually gets harder and harder. Um, making sure that you don't hit reversibility and that you don't plateau out. So again, it gets harder and harder. Uh, and then 
moving on to overload nicely. Um, if we if we progress too fast, too quickly over a short period of time, then overload and injuries can set in. So we use the anagram FITT, uh, so, and that stands for frequency, intensity, time, and type. <clears throat> frequency, of course, being how often, intensity being how hard, time being how long you train for, and type being the what. What, what are you doing? What are you training? Um, and then reversibility. So reversibility, we looked at just literally the word reverse, going backwards. So if you were to stop training or if you were to, to slow down, you weren't progressing, you did plateau out, you reverse, reversibility would take place and you wouldn't be able to perform at the same level. Tedium was more psychological, so it was around boredom and making sure you varied your sessions. And we had individual needs as well. So similar to specific, making sure it, it meets the requirements of the performer, uh, making sure that uh, realism is, is involved. So uh, if you're a weightlifter, your training matches the weights that you're currently working at and not a lot lower, a lot, a lot higher. Okay, so uh, we're going to just quickly look through the muscles. We've got a few minutes now to um, look through the muscles that you need to know in your exam. And we'll start from head to toe. And I've, I've attached a, a worksheet related to this today. Uh, so you can um, fill in the, 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 missing, the missing words, if you will. And we'll start from the front view at the top of your shoulders. You've got your deltoids moving down to your chest where your pectorals are. You've got your maximus pectorals. And we'll, we'll look in, into more details of all these muscles um, in the next session on Thursday. On your arms, you've got your biceps. And of course, from the back view, you have your triceps. And they work um, together, or it's, it's separate um, when one contracts and one relaxes. And then you've got on the side of your abdominals, you've got the external obliques. Um, and then at the top of your quadriceps, you've got the hip flexors. That's on the inner side of your thigh. Uh, and then, of course, at the front of your um your trunk, if, as we call it, and the, the top half of your, your legs, you've got the quadriceps. And then around your shin bone at the front, you've got the tibialis anterior. Uh, from the back, you've got your uh, latissimus dorsi, which is just above your, um, on the side of your hips and on the back of your, the top of your, your backside. And then there'll then be your gluteus, you've got your gluteus maximus, um, but just your glutes, or the word gluteus is all you need to know. <coughs> And on the back of your legs, you've got your hamstrings, and lower down, you've got your gastrocnemius, um, better known, or, or some people refer to as the calf, but uh, gastrocnemius is the word that you need to know. Um, okay, so we're going to look at probably the first three or four, and then I might have time for a video, uh, but we're going to look at the gluteus muscles first. So again, we've said it's, it's, it's your backside, better known as I guess, uh, and the extension of the upper leg at the hip. So that is where um, the muscle would contract and, and be used. Uh, in terms of a sporting activity, pushing your foot off the ground when sprinting. So again, if, if you think of Usain Bolt, or if you think of any sprinter or, or any football player who sprints over short distances, their glutes will, will need to be worked to get that power to, to push off the ground. And that's the sporting example. Uh, for the gastrocnemius, again, we spoke about the calf, uh, straightening the foot at takeoff in the high jump. So there's a sporting example for you when that, that plays a key part. Uh, you also see cyclists sometimes, the huge calves and gastrocnemius as they, they have uh, because of all the amount of um, straightening and, and, and bending and straightening the foot when, when cycling. And here you've got straightening the foot so you can stand on your toes. And we talk about plantar flexion. So that's the ability to. Uh, point your toes is called plantar flexion and um, if you point your toes up to the sky or back to your knee if you will that's called dorsiflexion. <clears throat> uh, the next one we're looking at is the hamstrings so that is the back of the legs and that takes place when you uh, flex at the knee and bending the leg when kicking the football plays a key part in it and hamstrings especially um, for those who've been unfortunate enough to, to strain or pull a hamstring, they know it's not a, a nice feel. Um, in fact, a rupture is, is, is ten times worse. If you put your hands on your hips, your hips slash your back, 
you look by pulling your arms down, bringing the body. So we've got adduction and abduction. So that movement from um, if you put your arms out wide and then bring them down to your hips, so that's called adduction. And from the other way around, if your arms are on your hips and you lift them up to your shoulders or out wide, that would be abduction. And uh, finally, a small example would be pulling. So any sort of pulling movement or anything towards your body. So bringing something in. Um, I don't think we've got time to do the video. So we'll leave the video for uh, Thursday, if that's okay. Um, Mish, you might, you might as well share my screen if possible. All right, cool. Um, really, just a, a, an apology for the short clip today, but we'll, um, we'll make up for it on Thursday, I'm sure, and, and then cram in all, all the information we need for muscles. But uh, have a good day, everyone. Thank you, you too. Thanks for coming on short notice as well. No worries, no worries. Have a good one, Michael. Doing a great job. Yeah, thanks, Sam. Well, um, uh, we're all trying, mate. Aren't we? Don't worry about it. I mean, last week I I decided to have a lesson with just, just myself to my laptop screen, so I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> That's always good. <laughs> Technology, all right. eh? Have a good one. Thanks, Thank you. Sam. Thanks, Nish, as well. So I believe that we have a short break now. Yes. And then thereafter, we're through and into some science. Am I correct? Yep, yep. We've got some science. Amazing. Scott. Amazing. Um, and obviously, are there, in terms of PE today, I'm sure that everyone can find every uh, previous video Sam's done on the platform and, uh, and across our various social media. Is that all? Awesome? Am I also correct with that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's good. We're getting there, aren't we? I'm good. I'm glad we did that two hour training session yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. I'll see you in like four minutes.